Um, well, David, that was uh, uh, considering Wimbledon's record at home. That is a phenomenal result today. Yeah, look, we, we we've been here before. You know, a bit further around the M25 in Kent and Gillingham, knowing that it'd be a tough game with a long unbeaten home record. Obviously, Gillingham's went stretched over the course of the whole year. We came here and we knew that they hadn't lost or conceded their goals since the opening game. Um, so we knew it was going to be tough. But then we also know that we can play well away from home, defend for our lives. Um, I'm putting a proper performance and I just hope the, the brilliant fans go home happy again. That's our first win at any Wimbledon team since 1980 as well. So it's, it's yet, yet, we seem to be here at every away game now, yeah. mentioning about a record. Yeah, you know, listen, from the start of the season I kept saying, oh, we haven't beat Bradford for 20 odd years, we haven't won at Prenton Park for so many years, you know, we haven't won here. I didn't know any of these, yeah. you know, I don't know when the last time we won five away. You know, there's all these things, but we're going along okay. We've got to improve. I've just said to the lads, listen, you're magnificent. Absolutely magnificent on one side of the game in, in terms of defending, you know, the, the pride you show in defending and keeping a clean sheet is magnificent. The second half, we kept showing the ball back to him. And it's a big area for improvement for us because... And it's interesting why the lads went, yeah, but we just don't want to make a mistake. Gaffer, and it's like, don't worry about it. You know, because in the first half, when you control it and pass, you are so much more a better team than just defending for your lives. Keep that, but actually, we've got to improve that element of the game. But at the same time, it's not actually um, lucky what we've done because we've done it now five games away from home on the trot. So we've got to keep that and keep building and developing our playing possession. And if we do that, then we'll be, we'll be you know, in the top half of the table somewhere. So, we've got to keep going, we've got to keep going. The goal, I mean, it's two br b bits of brilliance, really. One from Zinedine Green, <laughs> the outside of his right foot, and then the finish from Rosie. Yeah, the, the finish was, was a good finish. It made it look easy, and it wasn't. But the pass was the best pass on the, on the pitch in the whole game. Outside the right foot, you know, everyone think he's going one way, bang, six yards out or wherever it was, right on a play for a lad who's brilliant in the hair in, in Danny Rose. So, well, that's why we gave him an extra, whatever it was, two and a half, three years or whatever. I don't know what the length of the contract was, I can't remember. Um, but that's why we wanted to keep him. We've missed him. You know, he could only get to 60, 65 minutes today, you know, working his way back. He could only get 45 last week. But that's what he brings to the team. And he, he, was, he was very good while he was on the pitch and he, he blew up quite quickly second half. But we'll keep working with him. And he wants to improve. And, you know, that was the, the bit of difference today. They couldn't unlock our defence with any sort of skill, really, if truth be told. We had a couple of bits of skill and that was the best bit of skill on the night. And then at the back, I mean, Jordan Wright, Cam McJanet, <coughs> yeah. rocks at the back. Yeah, Jordan's saving the first half, where he's going in the bottom corner was an outstanding save. He's tipped one round the post from, from Piggott in the second half. He's not had much more to do other than fairly routine crosses and defending set pieces that he's done really well. You know, he got fouled in the first half for their disallowed goal. Um, but I thought we defended as a team, Harvey, obviously Green on his own, Cam, Jordan, Rosie, uh, Ty, Ty did an unbelievable header second half. I thought we defended set pieces, long throws, corners, free kicks and crosses brilliantly. You know, that, we knew that that's what they are as a team and I thought we defended brilliantly well that element of the game and that's, that's essentially what won us the game. And we've been speaking to Wimbledon's media team and, and they've said that Grimsby are the best side that have, have come here this season. And that's a great compliment for you. Yeah, look, yeah, that's obviously nice to hear. Um, we, we did know that I think they've played four of the bottom five at home or something like that for, in the table. So we also knew that possibly, we didn't know, but possibly their home form might be slightly misleading. But we also knew it'd be a tough game. You know, Sean said something to me after the game saying before the game he was worried about, about us today because of how good Wimbledon are because he's watched, watched them a couple of times. Well, it's, I didn't have share that today. Sometimes it's the opposite way around. We're honest with each other. Um, whereas, you know, I, th I thought would 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 perform, and and we have done again. Um, we've just got to improve our in possession um, sort of decisions to make life a bit easier. 
and we're in a good position as well in the in the league table, playoff playoff spot. Yeah, look, it's what, what is that? Fifteen games, sixteen games. I'm I, don't not sure. I, don't, I don't. I don't. I don't know, and I don't. I don't particularly look at the table, um, but I know we, we're improving. I know we're going along okay. And listen, if we're in the playoffs, great. Um, we've got to get better. You know, I'm not going to be happy. Um, and that's not. And I've said that to players. And to be fair, the players know. I didn't need to say. It, I don't think, but I did, and they all agreed. And like I say, when I say, you, come on, we've got to make one, you know, make a better decision in possession rather than just whacking it back to them. And to be fair, one of the lads said, it, it, we just not, we just don't want to make a mistake because we're in the lead, gaffer. And it's like that's brilliant. Look, I'm asking, I'm not going to shout at you if you make that mistake. If you're trying to do the right thing, because that will make us more likely to score a second goal. It'll actually help us in the long run. So we've got to start doing that as opposed to just thinking we can just sit in because. Can it carry on this? Well, I hope so. We all hope so. But we've got to also be pragmatic and know that we've got to develop our in-possession stuff a bit better. In second halves of away games will help us into home games. And if we do that, then there's every chance that we might be in the playoffs for, for, for a while. Outstanding. Brilliant. Cheers, David. Thank you. Thank you. Ta.